I'm Pat Pavelka. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Our activity that we're going to look at is called Number Your Paper. It's an activity that you would use with your whole class and it's used to help students gain confidence in terms of their own individual achievements and efforts. So in order to really understand this activity, I'm going to ask you to take the place or take the role of your students. So would you please get something to write on and something to write with. If you need to put me on pause to get that, that would be great. I'm going to keep going. So now you have something to write on and something to write with in front of you. The directions are, please number that paper 1 through 10. Again, if you need to put me on pause, you'll really have a better understanding of this if you really do number your paper 1 to 10. So, everybody now has a piece of paper in front of them numbered 1 through 10. I'm now going to ask you some questions about your paper. First of all, what kind of paper did you use? Was it lined or unlined? Was it a pad? Was it a yellow pad? Did you skip lines in between? How many lines did you skip? Did you circle your numbers? Maybe you put a period next to each number. Did you put a parenthesis after each number? Maybe you did nothing after each number. Look at all the different ways that you could have done this with different kinds of paper. Now how about I asked you to get something to write with? Did you use a pen? Did you use a pencil? Did you use a marker? A crayon? If you used a pen, was it red? Was it black? Was it blue? I gave you one set of directions. Number your paper one to 10. Look at all the different ways that you could have numbered your paper. Think about your classroom. Do the same thing with your students. Have them all get something to write with and something to write on. And what's really funny is you will start to get the questions before you even continue with that activity. They're going to say, what kind of paper? And you say, doesn't matter. What should I use? A pen or pen? It doesn't matter. The directions were, number your paper one to 10. So now I'll say to my students, which way is correct? They are. Which way is the best? Mine is. <laughs> and it's there, we use this activity to show students that we're all different. Please don't look at your neighbor's paper and panic that yours doesn't look like his. We all have different strengths. We all have different weaknesses. We all learn things different ways. We all do things differently in order to understand. So it's a great activity to show students. You gave one set of directions, but there are over 25, 30 different ways that that, that set of directions could be completed. And again, it's there to show students to have some confidence in their own efforts and achievements. Thank you for spending some time with me. Until we meet again.